It's a wonder this place is still standing. Easy. Easy. You know I'm not with Trinity. Why should we believe you? I escaped with one of yours. A man named Jacob. Where is he now? We were together, but we got separated in the mines. She killed him! No! No, 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 no! Jacob would never trust an outsider. Please, listen, I am not your enemy. I warned you. You should have left. Sophia! Enough! Father! I thought I lost you. I'm glad you made it out of there. Go give Sophia, she is cautious. In her position, I'd be the same way. What did you find out? Trinity is coming in force. We must prepare. She's a friend. On my word, no harm will come to her. These ruins. We must be near the Prophet's lost city. Come. We do not have much time. Prepare the weapon stores. Secure the battlements. Go. Now. They're almost here. But we're outnumbered. The children and elders are vulnerable. Go. Get them into the catacombs. Light the fires. The valley must be alert. Incredible. Sophia, muster our fighters. Then meet me in the upper village. Don't disappear again, Father. There's much to do. We had more time. Later. For now, I'll do what I can to help. We need to get one last transmission out, and let the other settlements know what's coming. I'll do what I can. You two. I need eyes out across the valley. Head to the cliffs and take watch. I want to know the moment you see their helicopters. Yes, of course. If we see anything, we'll sound the horns. Go with God. Hmm. This vase must have been beautiful once. But someone's poked a few new holes in it and filled it with dirt. 
They must have used it to grow seedlings. Must keep them away from the Acropolis Tower, no matter the cost. We'll send the families into the catacombs below. But we have to keep the enemy engaged on this side of the valley. should expect them to come from the air. Hmm. The Soviets did as well. So we stay beneath the trees. They can't hit what they can't see. They'll cut us down, no matter where we fight. We know this land better than they ever. A prehistoric carving of the bear. The stone looks like it could have come from this valley. Don't forget that. Fire. They needed most of the lumber to repair the guard towers. What have to do with what we... Another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths and births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. I see them looking to the sky when the rare plain passes overhead. Wistful. Wondering. Longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause. But I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. The most recent invaders are fading from memory. But as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again. And we are bound with the fate of this place. For better, or worse. Well, if they need arrowheads for the battle, then I need more firewood. I've already cut plenty. Besides, I don't know how much more time you'll have left to forge. Hmm. We can make points faster than broadheads. That should be our focus. Greetings. felt such terror. Tonight the armies of the Mongol horde camp at the edge of the valley ready to strike at the heart of Katesh. We have the alchemist's fire at ready to set the invaders alight. Every man and woman who can wield a weapon will fight. We will do all we can to support the Athanatoi. But I have never seen bloodshed. None of us mere citizens have. I have never taken a life and now that I must, I fear for my resolve. Hello. Fires still rage in the outer districts. The last of the wooden buildings will be consumed by nightfall. The heart of our city is gone, buried beneath the ice. I can take some small solace in the fact that the Mongol invaders were killed, alongside the Prophet's warriors who died to save us. And the Prophet himself? No one has seen him since the morning after the siege ended. We need his wisdom. Now more than ever, we do not have enough food to feed those who survived. Some believe the worst is over, but I fear that is not the case. I'll run out of mail before we're done here. We can pull more out of the old cabins. Take a second, come. We never recovered from the Soviets. I made a mistake today. One that threatens to lead to more mistakes. I spent time alone with Alia. Something I have avoided until now. She reminds me of my beloved Sophia. Whom I thought I'd long forgotten. And it opens my heart like a wound. She clouds my judgment. Even when she is not present. <laughs> I sound like a giddy child. 
and those days are far behind me. I must bury these old feelings deep and stay apart from my people for a time. He's making your own. I promised to keep him safe. What have I done? We should have been ready for this. We knew better, damn it. Not much fuel left in the torch. I think I can get four. Maybe five machines cut for the barricades. And then we'll have to find more. I dragged the last of those cylinders out of the Soviet prison. After that, you're back to using a hammer and chisel. That's the last. Don't worry. I like the chisel. It never runs dry. Cutting coming. Slow. Gotta be careful. The rust made weak spots. We should have kept the metal dry during the rain. We had to use those sheets to patch the roof last year when we had the floods. Make do with what you can. I see. It speaks of something hidden. Send who, exactly? Everyone's heading down to the lower village to prepare. I'm here to help. What can I do? We're trying to fortify as many of these towers as we can. Most of them were badly damaged in last year's floods. We've got the repairs in hand, but I need some extra supplies from around the valley. If we can get these towers repaired, it'll give us an advantage over the invaders, and it'll help us reach the upper levels of the ruined towers. Will you help? Send who, exactly? Everyone's heading down to the lower village to prepare. I'm telling you, you have to improvise for now. Do you have the supplies we need? Here you are. This should be everything you asked for. Good, good. Leave some of the supplies in the basket there, and we'll finish the repairs. But I need you to bring the rest of the supplies down to the tower by the lakeshore. When you're done, meet me back here. You scoffed at learning your letters. Said it had nothing to do with hunting. But that's your first lesson. Everything is connected. And I am always right. You clever students who saw the folly and stubbornness and can read this, 
Here's your first assignment. Track, hunt, and bring me back the pelt of one of the small creatures of the valley. Hares you can find anywhere, night or day. Both the little brown ones in our valley and the snow hares in the peaks. The squirrels stick to the trees and rain will drive them into their burrows. And if you see fit to seek the rats, look inside the ruins or anywhere the dead still lie. Please, do not bring me a rat. Here is your lesson for today. Bring me any creature with feathers. The birds in our valley fly mostly by day, nesting away at dark. You've seen gulls and other kinds farther afield. Those common birds would count for today's lesson, but it would lack ambition. You clever students who wish to impress me would do well to head to the high elevations between dawn and dusk. I would find Buzzard most impressive. And before you ask, the chickens around our village came here with our ancestors. Bringing me a tame bird from your mother's yard will not fulfill the assignment. Followers of the Prophet fled to the east. The journey was difficult.
there's got to be something down there. Astonishing. This architecture predates the rise of Eastern Orthodoxy. doing here a gold belt buckle decorative but strong and functional hmm it appears to be part of a military uniform I have left my wife in the care of these physicians. The sickness became exactly what we feared as her skin turned to scales and she lost all feeling in her extremities. They say there is nothing that can be done for her save forgive her relief from the pain and ease her passing. But she must be kept far from the city, far from me. My wife will die, and I will never see her in this world again. I will hurry to the next to meet her. Golden necklace of incredible detail. Whoever made it, it's the equal of anything found in the Empire. We are crippled by our isolation. We have with us the combined medical knowledge of the Empire, a millennia of learning that tells us how to treat every ailment. But here, on the edge of the world, the lack of one simple flower leaves us helpless. I cannot do much for the afflicted. 
I know how, but I cannot because we have hidden ourselves away. These people and many more that follow will die needlessly, all to keep our secret hidden. I pray the Prophet is right when he says that it will be worth it in the end. Looks to be a treatise on the connection between the body and the mind. Lara, I'm sorry if Sophia was less than welcoming. I understand. I'm just glad you were there to vouch for me. My people have spent decades fighting outsiders. It's not an easy habit to break. See if you can lend a hand with the preparations. A little hard work would go a long way towards building trust. I'll see what I can do.
Auntie will be here soon. You're making great strides, young ones. I almost believe some of you might be passable hunters someday. But here is where we begin to separate the wheat from the chaff. Today, while the sun is up, we stalk deer. Their meat, their skin, antlers, even their bones are what keep us all alive. Respect the deer, for it is as close to God as we are. Find them by their bedding, where the grass is pressed flat, or near berry bushes where they feed. Strike true. Don't let it feel a moment of fear or pain. Remember, I will be judging you, and whoever brings me a stag will be judged most favorably. You'll never find a finer meat than boar, as black as the soil and twice as rich. But hunting the damned things is an unpleasant task, to say the least. Now that the sun is up, we will hunt as a pack, working together to take down a boar. We will strike from the hunting blinds around the valley, for we can spot the boar in the dense undergrowth without being seen. And you do not want to be seen. At least it's not raining. None of you. Not even I want to deal with that cursed Razorback. The day I feared has come. There can be no more denying it. The helicopters we saw last sundown represent a new incursion onto our lands. We have grown up in the shadow of our parents' struggle, and now, it seems, we will have our own. But the sacred duty must be done. We must protect the source of God's grace on Earth. You there. Maybe you'll be able to help us with these machines. What can I do? These invaders have a new tool to threaten us with. Small helicopters piloted by machine. Drones, they tell me. The things don't fight back, but they've got what looks like a camera inside. They're mapping the valley, and we're losing our advantage. I've been able to bring a few of them down, but with those weapons, I expect you'll have better luck. 
Will you help? I'll bet I can take a few of them down. The more the better. Come see me again when they're dealt with.
dealt with the rest of those machines? I think I got the last of them. That you did. They may send more, but at least we can make it hard on the bastards. We're grateful for your help. visited the lower tower yet? I left the supplies by the other tower. Looks like you finished this one. That we have, thanks to you. This will give us an edge over the invaders. We need all we can get. Lara, may I speak with you? What can I do for you? We need food and shelter for those that can't fight. We'll make emergency rations from dried boar and mushrooms. It's better than it sounds, but I don't think I'll be able to gather nearly enough. If you could track and kill a Razorback, as well as bring the rest of the ingredients, we might be able to keep everyone fed. For another day, at least. Yes, of course. I'll be here. And thank you.
How goes the hunt? Will these do? Yes. Yes. I'll start drying the meat, but this... This should be enough for now. Thank you again, Lara. Glad I could help. They will likely come from the air. Jacob is assembling fighters in the upper village to draw their attention there. The children and those too old to fight will be safely hidden in the Acropolis catacombs. I will go there once things are in hand here. You said they were heavily armed. How can we expect to beat them? The fight will not be won in open combat. They will hit us hard and fast, and we will take losses. They hope to crush us in their initial assault but we will turn their eagerness into our advantage. This will be a long engagement. If we hope to survive, we must wear them down slowly, strategically. We will bleed them from a hundred cuts until they have nothing left. Only then will we be victorious. For now, we light the fires, warn the others in the valley. Today, we win by surviving. Gather as much ammunition and supplies as you can. Hide them in the caves and ruins. When you've completed your duties, rendezvous in the upper village. Understood? Yes! Understood! Good. Now go. The Prophet be with you. Hello there. being here. The people, they're hurting. That's down to me. I led them here. God, it's happening again, isn't it? People are suffering because of my actions. No, no, you can't think like this, Lara, or you really will drive yourself crazy. Trinity would have found this place sooner or later. At least I have the chance to help stop them of getting to the divine source first and using it to benefit the world rather than cause more pain and suffering. I just need to focus for everyone who's gone before, for everyone I've lost. Just keep moving.
Lara, I could use your help. Our people are spread thin across the valley. If you light the signal tower, they'll know that the danger is imminent. I'll do what I can. Once the fire is lit, they'll know what to do. Are we sure this pine resin will burn? You should have seen the last batch. Once it caught, even if it won't, the smell alone would be enough to drive them away. An iron coin with one side cut and shaped into a crude claw tool, perhaps to remove nails. Followers of the Prophet fled, but they were attacked in Syria.
Aurora, the physician. The road to Katesh was long and hard. Infirmity, illness, and injury abounded. Aurora was a believer trained in the ways of Hippocrates and the great Roman healers. It is because of her that so many survived the journey to Katesh. It is her legacy that knowledge of healing continues to be passed down among believers.
Meet me in the upper village. I'm gathering our forces here. All right. is the divine source. Tell me! Stop! Don't hurt anyone else! Where is it? Wait! Wait! There's a map. The Atlas. It will show you the way. Okay. Tell me about this Atlas. Hey. have nothing to show for your efforts. Perhaps she'll succeed where you're failing. I will not fail! Trinity will step in if you do. And you know what that means? I'm expendable. They have no interest in my survival. I need the power of the Source! <coughs> and you will 
Have it. Don't lose faith, Anna. This is God's will. Our success is inevitable. Please, just find it. My time is running out. sins you have forced me to commit, they must have a purpose. Only you can show me the way. Grant me strength to continue for her, for you, for Trinity. Please, show me the way. Shall be. 